This week marks the sixth annual Indigenous Football Week here in Australia, with the focus this year on improving gender equality within the world game. Fox Sports News football reporter James Dodd has more. Thanks to the continued efforts of the Moriarty Foundation, Indigenous Football Week is now into its sixth year, with the spotlight in 2021 focusing on improving gender equality within the game. We've got Aboriginal kids that have got a tremendous amount of skills for this particular type of uh, sport and uh, football can bring about uh, a great elevation of our, of our kids and our young people coming through and particularly with the girls, uh, you know, girls have always been pushed in the background in the past but now this is a great opportunity for them to move forward and come through at a, at a good level and also to achieve for the kids that follow them as well. Of those emerging stars is coach Tiffany Stanley. A proud Wiradjuri woman, Tiffany now holds a C licence qualification for coaching. Well, I did used to play football when I was young um, with my brother and then we went to league um, and then I got to a certain age where I couldn't continue playing. Um, so I went back to football and started playing with my auntie and it was actually my uh, football coach. She is a woman as well, Paula. She actually suggested I apply for it um, as she knew I loved football and I did, I got it. and. I love every minute of my job, what I do. Currently, only 4% of Australian female football coaches have that qualification, but with the likes of Lydia Williams, Kaya Simon, Shay Evans and Jada Wyman showcasing their skills on a weekly basis, Tiffany believes that can only help encourage more young Indigenous girls to get involved in football. As not many female Indigenous um, girls, females, we um, lack a bit of confidence as well. So I think seeing another Indigenous player playing and achieving their goals, I feel like, yeah, it will inspire the young girls coming up, so to get more involved in football. Furthermore, with young Indigenous girls having those role models to look up to, the prospect of seeing them compete in a FIFA Women's World Cup on home soil can only be a positive. Uh, I think it'll be a huge boost for the kids uh, playing football. But also, I think uh, it'll elevate our programs, uh, both so that uh, on the ground as well as uh, uh, in the air, throughout the country, to get uh, our girls and uh, our, particularly our Aboriginal girls, coming to the forefront. And I hope that that will bring about a greater opportunity for the kids in the future. And now, armed with her coaching qualifications, Tiffany is aiming big. Is, yeah, so my ultimate goal would be to um, be a head coach for, or be the coach for Matildas one day, hopefully. Um, one of the first Indigenous women coaches. That, So yeah, um, that is one of my goals. So. <laughs> but while reaching the international stage might not be possible for everyone, the work being done by John Moriarty Football is aimed at helping everyone play a part in the global game. It also shows that uh, uh, these programs can come through and give an inspiration to the kids that are not quite up there to play, but to contribute as uh, referees and coaches and so on that uh, they can take on board. And I think that's a great opportunity for them as well. For more details on Indigenous Football Week 2021, including Facebook Live interviews and online workshops, head to indigenousfootballweek.org.au. James Dodd, Fox Sports News.